Hi and welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video we are going to learn about init manager system D. So in this video we are going to cover the following topics. A brief intro to init manager. What does init manager do? Available init managers in Yocto. What is system D init manager? How to integrate it in Yocto? And the comparison between the multiple or different init managers that are available in Yocto. Let us begin. So an init manager or init system is a fundamental software component in a Unix like operating system that is responsible for initializing the system during the boot process and managing system processes and services throughout the system root. So it is the first program to run when the operating system starts and is assigned the project the process ID of one or PID one. So, what does system manager actually do? So this this was the brief intro. And now what does it do? So init managers are responsible for system boot and initialization. Uh, for example, the init manager is responsible for initializing the system hardware, mounting file system, setting up essential system parameters, and starting essential system services. So, and then it comes to service management that it manages system services and daemons so including for example starting stopping restarting and monitoring services and then dependency resolution like uh, uh, an init manager often manages services dependencies ensuring that services are started in the correct order and then we have process monitoring and restart like it monitors running processes and can restart them if they fail or crash and then we have shutdown and reboot so the init manager handles the graceful shutdown or reboot of the system so it stops running services and ensure the clean system shutdown so if I list them so init managers are used for system boot and initialization service management dependency resolution process monitoring and restart and shutdown and reboot so what uh, available init managers do we have in Yocto so by default the Yocto project uses system v init as is the initialization manager or init manager. So there is also support for busybox in it, uh, which is uh, much simpler than uh, system v in it. And then we have as uh, uh, this system d support as an init manager. So why system d? What is uh, system d? So the system d is a full replacement for init with parallel starting of services. So it means that the previous system V in it and system and this busy box, they were not able to start the parallel services. They were not able to run the services parallelly. So, so what and also and the system D also reduces the shell overhead overhead because uh, the system V in it and the busy box are heavily dependent upon the shell scripts, and then. And system D, we also have increased security and resources limits for services and other features that are also used here. So now, how do we integrate it? How do we add system D to our system instead of system V in it? So here, in local.conf, as you see, we have a simple recipe. So we do configuration here. And there are four configurations basically that we have to add. So here are these four configurations that we need to add and I will explain these configuration as well in as simple words as possible. So here we have four different configuration settings that we have to do in local.conf. I have saved it. So first of all is distro feature. So we need to add systemd in distro features that why that's why I did distro features append system D so it is used to specify that the system D is among the features of the Linux distribution support but it does not directly dictate the end system so it does not take over the init system for that we have this virtual runtime virtual dash runtime in big alphabets capital alphabets and then underscore init 
manager and then it's equals to also system D so it explicitly specifies system D as the init system for your distribution ensuring that system D is used for managing systems and init initialization then we have this row features backfill considered plus minus this is plus equal to this is also the append operation system v init so this here you are ensuring that the system v init features is included in the consideration process when determining the features that of the Linux distribution support so this can be useful when you want to ensure a compatibility or support for a software component that rely on system v init systems or related features for example there are some modules or some libraries or some services that do not have those system d services files and uh, that's why we need to add this so we have this spec file consideration this spec uh, i would say this is the back the previous version compatibility or also the compatibility of system v in it system d is the main init manager now but we also have the system v in it so there those services that do not support or those uh, or those scripts those that do not support the system d so they can fall back into system v in it and then we have this virtual runtime in it scripts this we have uh, written here system d compact unit files so this is specify uh, th this is specific value of the uh, virtual runtime in script refers to a set of compatibility units designed to work with system d so these units are used to launch and manage services that rely on system v init style in script it means that there are some scripts that have system v init what this feature do is it creates a wrapper around that system v in it style scripts and then operate them with system d commands so i hope you understand so uh, the description i will put on the git and i will also add uh, the link of the git in the description so there you can uh, read those again and in detail so now let us